Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cooking with John. I'm John, and this is my cooking show. Today, I'm gonna to be making slow roasted chicken in the oven with a side of acorn squash. As some of you guys know, Nikki and I absolutely love chicken. So this is another variation on a whole chicken. It differs from my last video by time and temperature. We're gonna do this in the oven at about 260 degrees for four to five hours, and then we'll turn the heat up right at the end to crisp up that skin. But it should be very, very good. We've got a side of acorn squash. And one of the things I'm gonna be doing to moisten up this chicken and give it a lot of flavor is actually stuffing it with a whole lemon that'll cut up into quarters. I'm gonna be going outside and getting the lemon off of Uncle Roger's lemon tree, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's go ahead and get this party started. So I don't wanna to spend too much time out here. I need to find just a nice yellow lemon, maybe this one, that one, or that one. But you don't wanna take the green ones. They're uh, still a little sour, they're not quite yet ripe. But something like this, it's nice and yellow. You can just pull it right off the tree because it's ready to go. We're gonna use this to stuff our chicken. I tell you what, I immensely appreciate great uncle Roger planting that lemon tree. So the first thing that we need to do is clean and wash the chicken. A lot of you guys who watch my chicken videos are always saying how many times I need to wash my hands and wash the chicken and clean the chicken and I am absolutely aware of this. I probably wash my hands, oh, probably 15 times by the time I'm done making this recipe only because I have to do all the work with the camera and everything so I wash my hands very, very much. And I try not to touch anything when I have chicken juice on my hands. So I'll bump the faucet with my arm and then I'll go ahead and clean up all this area around here after I'm done with soap and water. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna clean this chicken up, we're gonna get it ready to go here, wash out the inside cavity and uh, just give it a good scrub all around. All right, well, I've started to actually uh, season the chicken. I've put in two tablespoons of salt into the inside of the cavity, two tablespoons of black pepper, one tablespoon of paprika, and now I'm adding a half tablespoon of cumin as well as parsley flakes and a little bit of cayenne red pepper to heat things up. I'm gonna take my hand that I've kept on the chicken, and one, by the way, if you've noticed this whole time, this hand has not touched the chicken, so I'm keeping it clean. So I'm using one hand to season the inside of the chicken and hold onto the chicken so I can continue to spice the outside with this hand without having to continuously wash my hands. All right, so we got the inside of the chicken all salted up. There's a lot of salt in there. There's a lot of spice in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our lemon, cut it in half, and just insert that right and the inside of the chicken like that. And that'll give this chicken just a nice lemony zest taste. And now I'm gonna take the outside of the chicken and I'm just gonna put just a little bit of salt on the outside, not much, and that's it. I'm actually just gonna rub that around just like so, make sure I get it everywhere. I've completely cleaned and sterilized my sink before I did this, by the way, so again, you know, this whole area was clean before I got the chicken in there. And after I'm done with the chicken and I get it in the oven, I'll go ahead, I'll sterilize this whole area with hot soapy water and a little bit of bleach. I'm gonna take a metal frying pan and I'm gonna put just a little bit of olive oil down there. We'll take our chicken, we'll put it in the pan, breast down, very, very important, breast down. Uh, and we'll take a little bit of olive oil over the top and we'll just spread that around the bird. Give it a nice layer of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cover this in foil and then I'll insert it into the oven at 260 degrees for four to five hours. And we'll start to watch it at four hours. If it goes an extra 30 minutes, it's not really a big deal. So in between four or five hours, depending on the size of your chicken. Um, but this is gonna be absolutely delicious. Slow roasted chicken is so good. It's so much better than chicken that's just prepared in an hour. I'm very, very excited uh, to taste this chicken when it comes out of the oven. So we've got 260 degrees in the oven, four hours. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna leave it for at least three hours before we check it. Uh, make sure you, if you do this with a metal pan, it has a metal handle, you cannot put plastic or uh, rubber in the oven. And you know, whole chickens are just a great, great item to cook to feed the whole family. This is something you can throw it in the oven if you're home all day, you can just kind of set it and forget it, it'll do its thing. When everyone comes home to eat dinner at your house, the house is gonna smell absolutely delicious, like fresh roasted chicken. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna serve it with a side of acorn squash. That only takes about an hour to cook, so we're gonna start this in uh, just a few hours when the chicken is almost done. So the chicken's been in for about an hour. I went ahead and removed the foil and I'll cook the chicken the rest of the way uh, with no foil. The chicken's been in for three hours. It's looking absolutely delicious. I'll give you a little snapshot of it here in a second. But it's time to start cooking the acorn squash. So what I've done, 
I cut it in half, I'm gonna scoop out the middle, and I'm gonna put a little bit of butter and a little bit of brown sugar in there, and this will cook in the oven for one hour at 400 degrees, and it is gonna taste so good. It's one of my favorite things to eat. Very, very delicious vegetable, and it's very good for you. And these will go open face on a cooking sheet just like this. Got about two tablespoons of brown sugar in each one and one tablespoon of butter on top. Put that in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour. And here is a snapshot of our chicken. So it's been four hours, the house smells delicious. So for the last 25 minutes of the chicken being in the oven, in four hours, at four hours I turn the heat up to 325 degrees so I can just hit it with a little extra heat for about 25 minutes, then we'll take it out, we'll take the squash out, and we'll have a fantastic, fantastic dinner. Okay, one thing you need to do when you cook chicken is you always need to check the internal temperature. I'm checking the breast, which is 165 degrees. We'll check the thigh, uh, but the breast is the thickest part, so if that's 160 degrees, most likely the rest of the chicken is also 160 degrees. So, there it is. We're gonna go ahead and let this sit for 20 minutes. We're gonna let the squash cool off, and we're gonna eat a little bit of dinner. Right, like I said, I let the chicken and the squash cool for about 20 minutes. Let me tell you what, this squash is just oh, it's so good. A little bit of butter, a little bit of brown sugar. It's all mushy. It's very, very hot. Just be careful when you're eating it. But, mwah, oh, that is so good. It tastes like candy. But chicken here, slow roasted chicken, one of my favorite things in the entire planet. Look at it, it just, it literally just falls apart. I don't know if you can see that, but it is falling apart. It's great if you wanna do pulled chicken, barbecue pulled chicken sandwiches, anything like that. I am gonna do a couple of interesting things with the leftovers um, from the rest of the chicken breast. I'll be making a couple videos in the future, but let's give this a try. Mmm. Oh, that's some good meat. I was good stuff. I mean, the famous Nicole Baker is gonna go ahead and give us a famous Nicole Baker taste test here. A famous Nicole Baker taste test. Yeah, careful. It looks so good. Small. It looks um. This is so good. Yeah, you can see the like caramelization on top there. Mm -hmm. it tastes like candy almost. It's crazy how good it is. It is. It does taste like candy. Yeah. It is taste like candy. It is. It <laughs> sure it does. <laughs> what should I try? Well, I'll do. I'll take a piece of the drumstick. Oh my gosh, the bone is just falling out. Fall off the bone. It is fall off the bone. Mm. Good. Slow roasted chicken. Whole chicken with mm. a side of acorn squash. So good. Mm -hmm. Very wonderful. Well, thanks for tuning into this episode of Cooking with John. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy this dinner as a family. We're gonna hook Iris up to the Amaze baby balls. food chair there. And the drumstick is my favorite. Give her some chicken and squash. I'm not adding much to the video anymore. No, just give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and see you next time. Thanks for it's watching. really yummy.